Amidst an era characterized by instantaneous access to information, the British royal family continues to elude comprehension, enshrined in intricate protocols and centuries-old customs. However, a recent development concerning Kate, the Princess of Wales, and disclosures made by Tom Bower, an experienced royal correspondent, have exposed the truth, shedding light on a crucial conflict between openness and convention. This dialogue encompasses more than the well-being of a princess. It signifies a monarchy that is contending with its identity in the information age. We invite you to accompany us as we explore the complex interplay between health, secrecy, and the perpetual quest for relevance that characterizes the communication crisis confronting the oldest institution in Britain. Tom Bauer claims that Kate, the Princess of Wales, is experiencing a health crisis that is considerably more severe than what the royal family has officially disclosed. His remark, which challenges the optimistic portrayal by Kensington Palace, suggests that Kate may experience an extended period of recuperation, potentially surpassing several months. The inconsistencies between royal communications and independent reports have generated considerable conjecture, giving rise to concerns regarding the monarchy's health disclosures transparency. The lengthy tradition of the royal family withholding specific health information has generated both public and media interest and skepticism. The ambiguity surrounding royal health matters, spanning from the king's cancer diagnosis to Kate's present condition, has fostered rumors and conjecture, potentially eroding public confidence. During an era when the royal family is subject to scrutiny from multiple sources, including scandals and the private decisions of its members, maintaining such confidentiality fails to significantly enhance public interest or democratic support. In addition to health-related issues, the British monarchy has been confronted with scandals that have profoundly impacted its very foundations. The royal family is currently experiencing one of its most turbulent periods due to the controversies surrounding Prince Andrew and the departures of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. These occurrences, exacerbated by a perceived deficiency in openness, expose the monarchy's tenuous relationship with the public and emphasize the necessity for a revised approach to communication. In spite of the ongoing controversies and health concerns, Tom Bauer represents a ray of optimism. His indication is that both the King and the Princess of Wales may soon resume their royal responsibilities following a phase recuperation. This sense of optimism transcends individual well-being and represents the monarchy's capacity to restore its reputation and reassert its significance in British society and culture in the face of shifting societal values. Beyond that, satire and humor have surfaced as instruments for scrutinizing the royal family's approach to communication, specifically in regards to Kate's prolonged absence from public view. Comedic skits and perspectives highlight the irrationality and occasionally uneasy nature of the royal family's endeavors to reconcile public interest with privacy. Although this method is amusing, it highlights a more profound storyline concerning the difficulties of contemporary royal communication in an era that demands openness. In light of the delicate balance between public interest and privacy that the British monarchy must navigate, the current situation concerning Kate, the Princess of Wales, exemplifies a more extensive crisis in communication. Preserving the institution's significance for forthcoming generations while simultaneously reconciling the demands of the digital age with traditional values is at issue.